Uh, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Philan Speaks. A little something different here. Um, I just came from watching the film The Marvels. Um, first day out. Uh, and, I mean, because of the number of people who've been commenting on it, I decided to comment on it, even though my channel pretty much doesn't deal with this that much. But before we go into that, I just need you to let, want to let you know about myself. You're not, I'm not a casual when it comes to Marvel Universe. Uh, of course, the cinematic universe is something different from the Marvel Universe. I've been in my 40s now. Um, I've been introduced to comics. You're talking about back in my childhood. Um, ever since I was about seven, eight years old, my mother, you know, saw my mother reading Daredevil. Um, that whole series about between Electra, Bullseye, and Daredevil, we had that. Um, she had um, the first comic book she ever gave me was Silver Surfer, the Silver Surfer Volume 2, Episode 1. Not Volume 1, Episode 1. I later had to go purchase that. But Volume 2, Episode 1, where they went over the origin of the Silver Surfer. Mephisto was was the enemy, uh, was the villain, and everything like that, right? And um, another character that uh, my mother introduced me to was the reason I made sure I saw the Marvels. And that, of course, here is... None other than, you know, Monica Rambeau. As you see here, this is the second uh, comic book that she was ever in, you know. Um, I got the first one, that, uh, the the, uh, the team up with, with Spider-Man, um, but it's 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 at the other place. I don't, I don't have it here right here. But I, but I do have uh, another Marvel team up with uh, her, right? It's a Spider-Man and Captain Marvel. This is because she was the... Second Captain Marvel after after Marvel. Um, of course, you know, the, the latest Photon issues they put out. All five, uh, you know, of course, read those. Um, I love everything that she did in the Black Panther series that was put up by, by Joseph Hunlin. One of my, Reginald Hunlin, excuse me, which was one of my favorite Black Panther series. Um, but listen, I got, I got uh, Monica Rambeau here. This is the episode where she was chosen and selected to be the leader of the Avengers. That's her there. Uh, Monica Rambeau and the Vision. Okay. Um, we got Monica Rambeau here uh, with the Avengers. As you see, my other favorite, Silver Surfer, is there as well. Now, this is Secret Wars 2. She was part of that. Um, here, Monica there. Look, really, pretty much any episode of the Avengers that had Monica Rambo, I have it, okay? So, I'm only showing you that just to let you know. This is not a casual speaking here, all right? So, I'm, I'm familiar with her history. I'm familiar with her power base, her power set. I'm familiar with the history that was uh, behind it, right? So, um, when I talk about the movie, okay, I'm going to be frank with you. I mean, if, if you expect every Marvel movie to be on the level of, you know, Black Panther or Thor Ragnarok or Captain America 1, 2, 3 or Iron Man 1, 2, I wasn't in love with Iron Man 3 that much, or uh, what, what were some of the other better ones? Um, I, I probably mentioned Avenger, Infinity Wars, uh, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy. If you're expecting them to always be on that level, then right, you'll be disappointed. I will tell you it's not on that level, okay, but at the same time, Listen, it's not like on the level of Thor, Love and Thunder, okay, which is one of not only the worst Marvel movies, one of the worst movies I've ever seen, period, <laughs> you know, in my life. Uh, that was horrible, okay? Um, now, just briefly, um, listen, I'm not one of these content creators and really... I'm here to kind of counter some of these content creators who are agenda driven, um, who have a problem with any time they see a woman movie or women leading something or women beating up a man or whatever, which you really ain't got that much of that in here, the females are villain, right? Um, or guys who have a problem with anything that is not, you know, white, Christian and male, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. Cause a lot of them type of people were very popular in this uh, genre for whatever reason of, of course, of, of, um, commenting on, on this type of stuff. Right. Um, 
I don't have those issues. To me, that stuff just reeks of uh, insecurity. You know, whether you're insecure in your manhood, like seeing a woman whip, whip a man's ass on screen in a make-believe world makes your manhood insecure, or um, you feel like your race is threatened when there's someone that's that doesn't look like you doing something. I don't know what your problem is, but some of these guys are driven by those by those motives, and you know it because they aren't like, because it's impossible to hate every damn movie and every damn show. You got some of these guys knowing reviewing Star Wars, and they, in every episode, they hate every last one. I, listen, I don't care how much of a conservative you think you are, or a liberal you think you are, or whatever the hell you are, right? There's no way in the world you can hate every single episode or every single movie that is put out by anybody or any company. That's when you know a guy's agenda-driven, and I get it. You put out a video where you're hating on something, you're clowning it, you're, you're laughing at it, and you get 300,000 views. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what it's like to get 300,000 views. I've never sniffed it, but I, I bet it's such a rush, right? So you get that, and then, hey, this, this, you think, hey, this works. So you're going to just keep doing that. So I understand that. If you're making money off of it, I get it, right? But for me, that type of criticism doesn't work for me because I want genuine criticism, and I think that's just disingenuous. Now, back to the actual movie. Okay. Now, the pluses for the movie. I believe it was well acted. I think Brie Larson did well. I think uh, Tiana Paris, who plays uh, Monica Rambeau, did very well. And I think uh, Kam Kamala Khan did, I Iman Vilani, excuse me, did extremely well. Right? Uh, she's very, you know, engaging. She takes over the uh, screens. You, you feel her emotion, where she's coming from, all of that. Um, I didn't have a problem with the angle of her being a Captain Marvel uh, fan. Anybody who reads the comics knows that that is who she is. Miss um, Marvel is a Captain Marvel uh, fangirl. Uh, whether you like that or not, to me, that's your business. But that's what it is. It's a depiction. And Monica Rambeau, I mean, being <sighs> Brie Larson's little fake niece, I don't love it as a storyline. But that's because I'm, I know Monica Rambeau from the comics, right? Um, so for me, I'm just happy to see her on screen, right? Like, let me give you an example. Like Thor 1, I don't think was a great movie at all. You, you look back at it, it wasn't. But we loved it because it's Thor on the big screen, right? So the Monica Rambeau is similar to that for me. It's Monica Rambeau on the big screen, finally. Even though she should have been in the original Avengers, if you know the history of the Avengers, she should have been in the original Avengers, especially before Black Widow was, okay? But not going to get into, uh, you know, why that happened or how that happened or whatever, right? So they kind of, I can't say making up for it, but they're, they're including her now and they had to find a way to introduce her. So I get it. They shared the name Captain Marvel at, 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 at different times in the comics, so they fuse them together here to make Maria, her mother, uh, who is not really a very significant character in the comic books at all. She's alive. Of course, doesn't die. She's actually alive in uh, in the new Photon series. Here, Monica goes and uh, confides in her, meets up with her all the time. You know, all those different things in that. Um, which is which is cool. You know, uh, so, but they, they decided to do this. Uh, they decided to go with her mother dying. Um, she being part of the blip. This is how she gets her powers. So they introduce her through WandaVision. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, Scarlet Witch, one of, one of my favorite characters for sure. Um, that's what they decide to do. It is what it is, right? I'm not going to sit here and bitch and complain about that. Um, what I was interested in seeing whether or not she would have her, her powers, you know? And... Um, I, I was pleasantly surprised with that. Uh, looks like um, most of the powers are are uh, true, you know, uh, or what you find uh, in the comics. So that's yeah, I was pleased to see that. Um, so the villain, the villain, the villain isn't a, isn't a villain. I can say I'm familiar with from comic books or anything like that, right? Uh, but I mean. It's a lot of people complaining about the villain and the villain didn't scare them or whatever. Look, none of these villains scare me. I mean, point is, did the villain have enough, um, you know, power to scare the character? 
And yeah, the villain was a threat to, to the characters, you know, so that's all I need to see here. Um, you know, do I wish it was the Beyonder maybe? Yeah, probably, you know, but if they decide not to go with that, okay, so you let it do what it do. Um, was it funny? Absolutely. Um, Kamala's family, yeah, absolutely. Of course, I'm going to love certain parts of that. Right, being you know Muslim, the American myself, I relate to some of that. I understand everyone doesn't, but so I like a, I like a lot of that angle to it, to Miss Marvel. Um, now, could it could it could it could it have been better? Of course, all 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 of these movies can be better. Like really, if you look back, they're not all as perfectly great as you think. Some of them were spectacular. Some of the best, like. Black Panther, so when I had to go through that, right? But listen, you want to go out, um, see these characters. If you're a Captain Marvel fan, I think you you love it, you know. Um, like me personally, like I said, I wanted to see this this particular character, and um, you know, it, it, it was it was good for me. Um, I guess too, man. Like I don't I don't expect much from Marvel shows and movies. Which by the way, Loki, Loki just finished that earlier today. That was that was genius. That takes a lot of thought. That that timeline thing the way time and space is working and the loom and everything, that 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 was genius. Bravo bravo for that. Um and you saw here the Marvels they they're doing similar to that. Right? They're trying to do similar to that. Um, actually, what I think they're going to do with Monica is they're going to, it looks like they're going to kind of tie it into something similar to the series um, the Photon, which is very Monica uh, Rambo-centric, uh, and um, I like that personally. Now, um, part, of one of the, part of the reason I made this video is because of a particular individual who puts out um, a thumbnail. We take Tiana Paris's face and puts it on like a strong man's body, like, and that's what I'm saying. It's indicative of these guys, man. These guys that with these with these videos that some of y'all watch and some of y'all like. These dudes are clowns, man. You know, um, I had to block this person. I don't even want to see his content. You know, get, the people who do stuff like that. That stuff's not funny to me. I know where it comes from. I really do. I know where it comes from. Right, they think people don't, don't think people don't see it, but people are not stupid. They know what they, I know what your problem is for real, for real, you know. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, but honestly, if I was to give it a grade, um, say ten being the highest, it, you know, about a, it's, it's a cool six and a half, you know, it's about it's a cool six point five, you know what I mean? And that's because uh, you know, if you compare it to, like I said, Captain America. Compare it to Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Ragnarok, Infinity, you know, nothing really probably uh, compares to Infinity Wars and Endgame. You know what I mean? Um, so, that's what I got on that, man. Peace.